What happened to Dominic Reyes? Just three years ago, Dominic Reyes was fighting the greatest of all time for the light heavyweight championship of the world, but now he's on a four fight skirt, three of which being brutal KOs. What happened? To understand this, I think we need to take it back to that fateful night. UFC 247, Jones vs Reyes. Now, in the lead up to this fight, nobody gave Reyes a shot. Jones was dismissal of him. You're not that important, Dominic. Everybody wrote him off and he was a five to one underdog, but this was to be expected. He was fighting the greatest of all time, but on the night, Reyes came to bang, bro. His tricky striking and great takedown defense was difficult for Jones to handle. Even the eye pokes were being dodged. The final ball rang, seemingly up three rounds to two. The celebrations for Reyes and his corner began. For just one moment, we all thought Reyes did the impossible. And still! 48-47, 48-47, and 49-46 all in favor of Jones. Losing a fight is one thing, but feeling like you won the fight just to have it taken away from you, it's a bit of pill to swallow. The same way it sucks way worse having to start over than start up. Having the result of a fight taken out of your hands because of judging is difficult for many fighters to deal with. But Reyes initially was taking it pretty well. Upon somebody losing a fight, you can vaguely see their general trajectory by the way they take their loss. Some pull a Max Holloway and say, it is what it is. It's in the past and it can't be changed. While others don't. Congrats to Henry Cejudo. Good job, but you didn't beat me. He didn't beat me. He didn't beat me. He didn't beat me. Fighters get criticized when they don't handle losses as gracefully or as acceptingly as they could, and this is for good reason as it takes away from the winner's shine, but it's also probably better for their mental state to be accepting. Adesanya described his emotions following his loss to Pereira as coming in small waves. It comes in waves, but it's not crashing waves, this is more like little tides like, oh yeah, it stays for a bit and then it just washes out, and like later on another tide. Cause something will remind you on your phone the wave of emotions come and go but he chooses to let them pass as that's all they are this is essentially the skill of mindfulness and not letting yourself fall into self-pity izzy though he did mention it a little could sit at home and whinge about the referee stopping the fight early all day long but there comes a point where acceptance is necessary for growth and i don't blame the referee mark did a good job after two big shots and then i wobble and i'm standing there looking like that he's gonna be like oh shit, not nah. and he's being safe so when he jumped in i'm like I'm fine. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. It's just, it's my, my ego or just my- You're competitive though, it's like, no, I won't say, yeah, yeah. Following the onset of the decision, you could see Ray as being relatively accepting of it, but I suppose using hindsight and seeing the words of those around him, it was clear that this would be a bit more difficult to let go than expected. <laughs> Anybody that saw that fight, they know that my brother was robbed. Johnny had no answer for him. I gave it three to two for Reyes. Remarkably chipper for a guy who just had his dreams given to him and then taken away from him in 30 seconds. It's really fucking annoying, to be honest. Well, Dominic to Reyes, three to one. That is an understatement, my friend. Uh, judges aside, what did you think about the Though he was initially accepting, having your friends, family, coaches, etc. repeatedly reminding you, hey, you should have won, or hey, it was the judge's fault. It's gonna drill into your mind where you should be in life, that you should have won, that you are where you are because of the actions of others and not because of your own. Though you could maybe argue the stoppage in the Izzy fight, his coaches and everybody around him let him know immediately that they agreed with the stoppage and would have rather seen it get stopped earlier than later. You know, as a teammate, as a friend, I'd rather be too soon than too late. This immediately kills the seed of delusion and plants the seed of acceptance and growth. Having everybody in your air constantly remind you of where you should be instead of celebrating where you are and what you can do better likely took a toll on Dominic. He mentioned in the lead up to his Yeri fight that he became a bit bitter about it over time. I just was unhappy. Suddenly not confident in who I am anymore. I started doubting my skill set. I started doubting all the work I've done. Am, am I really that dude? I was like, all right, what, if I get this belt, it'll everything will be, you know, right. I wasn't fighting for the love I have for the sport. I wasn't fighting for, for myself and my family. I was fighting for for other people I don't even know. It's okay to have the waves of anger about the result come in, but it seemed like with everyone around him hammering the fact that he should have won, he was never able to allow himself to move on. Instead of letting the waves pass, it became fighting the natural ebbs and flow of thoughts. To be honest, I see the situation kind of like a breakup. You can use the initial art, fuck them, they're mid anyways, as motivation and fuel at the start, but to ruminate on it and hold on to anger, that's just gonna drain you in the long term. But that's easier said than done when you could have just beaten the greatest of all time and realized all your dreams in the sport, right? Would anybody be able to handle the situation with grace? And still, the I did everything to win the fight. 
except for those two judges that didn't give it to me. I didn't prove it to them. Uh, that won't happen again. You know, it sucks that right now the belt's not sitting right here. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back. That's nothing. You know, little mile stomp. Does that bother you that, you know, you can't plan for an immediate rematch? Dude, I don't care about George. That's why I said from the very get-go, I beat him anyways. Okay? I just want the belt. Johnny Hendricks lost a very close split decision to one of the greatest of all time, GSP. Though of course he was upset, with the right mindset and with the right people around him, he was able to grow and nurture the thoughts that benefited him instead of the ones that hold him back, ultimately leading to him bouncing back and claiming the title in his next fight. Michael Chandler talked about this in a presentation of his, in which he detailed not falling into the trap of self-pity. You start blaming other things. For me, it was my coaches or it might, I'll tell you what, if it, if it wasn't for that ref, if that ref or that judge, if they knew how to judge a fight, I wouldn't be standing here and I would have won that fight and my whole life would have, be would have been changed. Nasty, cold, dark, harsh jail cell starts to feel like home to you. And that's where I found myself and that's why my second loss happened and my third loss happened because I was found comfort in the self-pity jail cell that I created for myself. This is all speculatory. I don't know Dominic Reyes personally and I don't claim to, but what I believe happened to Reyes over the years was potentially falling into the trap of self-pity. There was an easy scapegoat to just throw all of his problems onto. Anything wrong in life could just be attributed to the judging that night. And because of this, he likely found it a bit difficult to move on from what was taken from him that night. Even when we bring it to present day, four of Jones's previous opponents sat at the desk. It's been three years and listening to the way he speaks about it, it still seems like Reyes is a little bitter and resentful of Jones. We all got our butt kicked by John Jones. <laughs> I mean, hey, still feel you got it done? Oh, absolutely. I got it done that night. I mean, when you're in the fight with someone, you know, you know what happens. And he says that the motivation wasn't there at the end of his light heavyweight running. Yeah, it's definitely a bit of an insult, but that's just John doing the John thing where he's twisting things to make himself a hero. If you're not motivated for a fight, what are you doing, especially a championship fight? To say championship fights aren't motivating is kind of ridiculous, but he is John Jones, so that's how he rolls. Sometimes a bit of delusion is okay. You need to believe in yourself to get to the top of the sport. You need that spite and the belief that you're the best, even if you were clearly bested, but too much of it or too much directed in the wrong direction can lead to a slippery slope downhill. Like and subscribe.